So I've noticed like oftentimes when I've purchased full size bridles, the brow bands on them are 15 inch. Um, I'm sure that's not always the, always the case, but it's been the case when I bought full size bridles. But oftentimes the full size head is 16 inches and you kind of know that because whenever you buy brow bands separately, full size is pretty much across the board, 16 inches. I'm not sure why they do that when you buy new bridles, why they don't just put a 16 inch brow band on them. If that's going to be your full size of brow band, but my experience is, is that they don't always do that. They'll put that 15 inch on the full size bridle anyway. So if you're like a new rider or something, you might not be aware of this, but it's really, really important because your horse, if you're buying a full size bridle, may need a 16 inch brow band. Saying that though, Bo here is a cob in some of his bridle fittings, like the nose band, he's a cob in and um, I think the cheek pieces, he's more of a cob in, and depending on the maker, also the headstock, but generally I've had to get him, like when I'm buying just the bridle itself, a full-size bridle, which then ends up seemingly coming with the 15-inch brow band, but um, if I'm buying the, the bridle in parts, like I'm doing this time, I'm actually kind of customizing his bridle and finding all the parts need to be in a cup size, which is strange but anyways brow band was a full size um, before so basically recently I ordered Bo a new brow band and it was 16 inch basically um, for the most part all of his brow bands except one I have are 16 inches because that was fitting him just fine but I noticed with this new bridal setup I have which is this which I'm custom custom putting together um, I've been custom making it with different pieces to get it to fit him really well there was nothing wrong with his other bridle but I just figured I wanted the patent nose band so I might as well um, do some other things with it too I went ahead and ordered the brow band but when I went to check the fit even though it did measure 16 inches I did check the fit on him it was kind of pulling the crown piece forward on him a bit and the new crown piece it actually has cut back ears and it was still pulling it forward and kind of really tight against his head so I went ahead and I, I thought okay um, I think I might need the size up which was the warm blood size as a 17 inch which is interesting because he actually needs a cob nose band so this is an example of how you may do better with a custom bridle and it's also an example of why you really do need to check those um, brow band sizes so anyways I thought okay I do actually have one 17 inch brow band and I thought that I would go ahead and check to see how it fit before I made the order um, for another show brow band. So this is the 17 inch brow band and I will be showing you how it fits on him today. So Bo has his 17 inch brow band on. Let me show you right here. Fits him real nice. There's space. It's not pinching here like a vise, which is good. I don't want it like pulling the bridle piece into his head this way. I want him to have ample space there. It's not pulling the bridle forward onto his ears. It can go back more. So that's a really good fit for him and that's a 17 inch, um, usually classed as a warm blood size. So yes, or oversize. That might, sometimes it might be listed as an oversize as well. But yeah, that's your 17 inch, that's the 17 inch brow band and how it fits him. So. Here you can see how the brow band fits better in the sun. That's the 17 inch. It's the 17 inch and you can see. He's got space here. It's not like a vise pushing into his head. He's got room here. It will go back further too. It's not like holding it in place. It can go farther back. So yeah, that's a better fit than the 16 inch. And in the next one, I will show you how the 16 inch fits him. So here's Bo's 16 inch brow band. It's a full size. And I wanna show you how it fits in comparison to the 17 inch because this was a brow band that worked really well for him before, but he has in the last couple months grown out of it which is why um, I'm switch, going to be switching him to 17 inch brow bands in the foreseeable future. I mean, it, it does work, 
I mean, it's not like it's like super tight on him or anything, but it isn't like the fit that I would really ideally want for him. So we, I will show you the comparison um, and how this 16 inch one fits his head. Okay, so this is the 16 inch brow band on him. And you can see it's a little tighter up in here. See, it's a little tighter up in here, right in here. There's a bit of a pressure point. He did not have that with the 17 inch. So up here, it looks like it would, oh, up here, it looks like it would fit because there's space here. And then when you come around, it's actually tight. It's actually kind of tight here as well. It's kind of pressing it in here. And you can see by his ears, it can't really go back anymore. It's kind of just stuck right there. With the 17 inch, this was able to go back a bit more, which made it more comfortable. So that is the difference between the 17 and the 16 inch and in fit. And again, don't always just look like up here because that's plenty of space. When you come around to the sides, it really isn't. He's really kind of grown out of it. And although it's not, you know, to the point where he just could not wear it at all, he needs, he needs to move up. And you can see it's kind of making him, yeah, it's kind of making him a little head shaky. Yes. Good boy. So yeah, we're getting you some 17 inch ones, buddy. So that's why it's a really good idea just to check your brow band fit sometimes. Um, and I, I feel like it's just an overlooked piece of equipment in terms of size and fitting and things like that. I mean, bow is a full size in the crown piece, cob in the cheek piece, cob in the nose piece. You would never think that he would be a 17 inch warm blood or extra full in his brow band based on his bridal measurements and sizes, but he is. Um, and so often, like when you just buy one standard bridal, say your full size bridal, and it comes with that 15 inch crown piece or 15 inch brow band, which happens to generally be the same size they'll put on your cob bridal, that wouldn't work for him. And you might not think, hey, he's shaking his head or my horse is shaking its head or acting up because of the brow band. And it could literally be that simple. You're looking at everything else, you can't find it, check your brow band. Or even just start with your brow band and make sure that's fitting and, and rule any issues with your brow band out. But it is very important to do so. And um, I hope that I was able to bring some awareness to this subject um, that I feel is often overlooked in the fitting of a bridal or a brow band or anything like that. So everyone, thank you for watching. If you like this content, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, I appreciate all of your support and I will hopefully see you guys soon. Thanks.